So today we're gonna link big console releases with PC market change. Now this video is so theoretical and so weird. So yeah, if you wanna stay till the end of the video, be my guest. So there are two PC ports that went into a huge change in terms of price and new releases. And we're talking about the GPU and RAM. Remembering that before the release of the PS4 Pro, the price of the 8GB stick of RAM was somewhere between $25 to $35. And after the launch of the PS4 Pro, RAM prices is gone between between 50 to 60 dollars and we're talking now but it haven't spiked up to 60 dollars it raised slowly to that price but where's the connection between the release of the ps4 pro and that massive change in ram price ps4 pro only had a gigabytes of ram which means that you can build an equivalent pc with 16 gigabytes of ram assuming that 16 gigabytes back then before the price change was for 60 dollars so i think they raised the price of ram after the release of the ps4 pro so they can kind of even the odds because we all know that pcs are better actually than consoles and this first six to eight month of the release of a console has to show that consoles are better than pcs so as they want to demonstrate that there isn't any comparable pc to a console for this time being but yeah a lot of people actually forget about that you have to pay for monthly subscription so you can be able to play games online which means that it's somewhere between hundred dollars i guess i don't know exactly but you're paying extra money you're not just paying for hardware you're paying for hardware and software and you're getting an a ps4 controller too or an xbox controller too which brings us to the GPU department. Now we all know the PS4 Pro is actually made of an AMD GPU and AMD Jaguar CPU. The RX 400 series was released after the PS4 Pro where the RX 470 was somewhere between 150 to 200 dollars where you can build an equivalent PC to a PS4 Pro for around the same price but that's like four months after the release of the PS4 Pro and it's all about these first four months of the release of the console itself where console manufacturers make the most money possible because yeah as I said PCs are better than console actually and then a year later the this console will age and yeah you can build a better PC with less money which brings us to the next part of the video now this part we'll be talking about project scorpio and what we will see after the release of the xbox scorpio so it will have performance between the ddx 1070 and the ddx 1080 where it claims to play games at 4k 60 frames per second and it has 12 gigabytes of ram so what's supposed to happen if this Xbox Scorpio is somewhere between 400 to 450 dollars? RAM wise, I guess we'll witness a price drop in RAM somewhere between 40 to 45 dollars. Let's hope so. And uh, GPU wise, uh, I don't know about GPU wise, but I guess that's why AMD only refreshed the RX 400 series and released the RX 500 series with minimal um performance gains so actually they can release the xbox scorpio and this is the undisputed console you can't build a pc equivalent to that console right now so i guess nvidia maybe release a gpu that's equivalent to a gpu like for example a gdx 1070 and somewhere between 200 and 250 dollars where you can fit it in a budget pc but that's we're talking like four or six months after the release of the xbox scorpio so yeah i guess uh this is so theoretical so let me know what you think i try to link things with each other and it seems pretty convincing to me but again let me know what you think in the comments down below so do not forget to press that like button and subscribe if you liked that video i guess that video is a cool video somewhat share it with your friends and uh yeah peace i'll see you in the next video